My studio is like, uh, it's now in a garage. Organization is fundamental to a successful studio, like no matter how uh, messy you get, and I'm a messy person when I get involved. I've got this little pie box that once uh, housed coffee cake. Well, first I started painting kids throwing rocks and being rebellious and shit. Then I kind of worked uh, the Greek mythology into the anatomy and um, there's like a dual message in it. It's like these could be little Palestinian kids or Soviet, you know, uh, ideology giving one last uh, one Last Stand, that's the name of the painting. They're like the last holdouts of mythology, of a dead ideology, of a cause that's unpopular. And I love to have everything on wheels. That's crucial. This one's kind of like politically charged, which is fine by me. And then this one here, it started out really innocent, but I didn't want it to be too sentimental. So I added this little hillbilly boy with a you know, with his little pistol. He's celebrating the uh, anniversary um, of him and his dead lover. And he's totally caught up in this like anniversary dance. And like, he's about to get wasted by some hillbilly, you know. Like down here is the, in the dungeon. This is like my second man cave. This is uh, another thing that I'm kind of really into. Um, all of these, like you can see where it started with this stitching stuff together. And it came out of a necessity to like paint something big. It's evolved now into uh, these compositions that don't even rely on imagery. When I started this one, it, uh, was, I lived right next to Tiger Stadium and they were tearing it down and I totally had no intention of making it into a an homage to the stadium but like this shape just showed up and it looked like a baseball diamond so I kind of went with that you know over here is my music studio it's all technology you know if there is an aesthetic to it like I got kind of crazy with this contact paper because I like everything to match but it looks killer this one doesn't work this is just a visual but like I cut these the car guitar in half here. Take these off. Made this uh, this sort of wet dream. That, uh, if it existed in real world, it would be awesome. But uh, yeah, that's my studio.